Wow, he's sassy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my life. My name is Jordan. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys a care guide for hedgehogs. And I've got my sister here with me, just in case I run into any problems, because she's the one who owns the hedgehog, and she's kind of the hedgehog expert of the house. So the first thing that we're going to be talking about is the cage and what you should be putting in it. Hedgehogs require a lot more space to move around in than like a hamster or any of those other little dudes. So you need to get a cage that's a lot bigger. Uh, it's kind of hard to say the exact requirements just because there's so many different brands out there with slightly different measurements and everything. But basically you're going to want to try to find one that you could use for a bunny. Uh, go to your local pet store and see what some of the bigger cages that they have are and just ask them if you have any questions as well about which one would be the best to use. Also just a quick note is that you do not want to use an aquarium and you also want to make sure that the cage has a solid bottom and it can come up a little bit. Basically like bunny cages is kind of what you want to do. And I'll be showing you the exact cage setup that we have for Scooter the Hedgehog and near the end of this video. The best bedding to use for hedgehogs is either Blankets or Carefresh. Uh, Carefresh is a really good brand and it comes in lots of different colors and it's super safe for them. Just make sure that you do not use Aspen because that is not okay and it will give them lots of breathing problems and everything. Also make sure that you have lots of hides within their cages, some of them different sizes and stuff and kind of spread throughout so they can go to the heat or away from the heat and that way they always have a nice place to go and hide. Hedgehogs do require a little bit of heat, again this depends on your house the cage that you have, all that stuff and where you live. So you're going to want to look into that. Uh, just make sure that you do get a heat lamp for the winter and everything just to make sure that they stay nice and warm. The other thing you can do in the winter as well is you can get a whole bunch of blankets and stuff, put it into their favorite little hiding spot and then that way it can keep their body heat in and they'll stay nice and warm. And the next thing we're going to be talking about is toys. Some of the best toys you can get are bird toys, like this one, which you can hang from the top of their cage and they like to play with it, or cat toys, like this right here, and there's also other things to help them with eating, which makes them work a little bit for their food, such as this, so you put the food inside, kind of close it up and they have to like move it around in order to get the food, so this is a good thing. And this is an easy homemade one you can do, you just make sure that you cut a slit in the top of a toilet paper roll, and that way they can stick their head in, move around and stuff, but they can always pop out because it is open on the top there. Also, it is very important to realize that hedgehogs are quite smart animals and they get bored of the same toys and the same setup quite easily. So to keep them busy and entertained, you always want to switch around toys, buy them some new ones, take out old ones, and switch around their whole habitat a little bit just so that way they have new things to explore and then they'll stay happy. Now when it comes to activity, hedgehogs are very active animals. They pretty much run all throughout the night. So it's important to have an exercise ball which you can do during the day and it's a good way to let them explore things without getting lost or hurt. Make sure that you always keep supervising them because it is possible for the lid to come off and you don't want them to escape and hurt themselves. Or lose them of course. Now, wheels are also a very important thing to have in their cages because they're going to run on that all night. So you can either get two types. There's one that's like a saucer so it sits flat and they kind of run on it like that, and then there's another one that is just like a hamster wheel more, except you have to get a really big one because they're not very flexible in their back. The back can't really bend that way too much. So you want to make sure that it's big enough where they stay pretty much flat and they can still run. Also, you want to make sure that you get one that is solid, okay? So you don't want to get one that you'd normally get for hamsters and mice with all like the little holes in it and stuff because they can grab onto it and run. Hedgehogs are not good at that. They will hurt themselves if they have something that their foot can fall through, so make sure that it is solid. Up next, we're talking about food and water. So, I'm not going to go into details about food because I actually made a video about this a couple of years ago that goes way more in depth and it's an awesome video so you can check it out right here and watch that and that will give you all the information that you need. And when it comes to water, you want to make sure that you get them a dish versus the tap thing, I, I don't really know what it's called, but the thing that hamsters and stuff drink from. You don't want that because they can hurt their teeth. Uh, so you want to get an actual dish and make sure that it's solid because they are kind of clumsy and they'll be like going in it and you don't want it to flip over all the time because that is kind of useless and you'll be having to give them water all the time. So make sure it's solid and same with the food dish, make sure that's solid as well because they can flip things very easily. And for the last part that has to do with the cages is cleaning them. So you want to clean them about every three weeks to a month and do a full clean. Again, I have another video about that. The link is in the description below, so go check that out. Now, we're going to be talking about a little bit more of the specific care requirements for hedgehogs, uh, which includes baths as well as nail clipping. 
So when you're giving them a bath, you want to do it about once a month. And you don't make the water too deep, although they can float on their backs. There's some really cute videos like that. But in order to actually clean them properly, you're going to want to have just a little bit of water so you can clean their paws. And then you get a toothbrush and you lightly go over their quills and that kind of cleans everything out. You just want to make sure you don't do this too often because it can lead to skin irritation and stuff like that and that is not good. Keeping their nails nice and trimmed up is also very good. So you're going to want to go to the pet store and get some nail clippers that are meant for smaller animals and you're going to try to clip their nails about once every three weeks or so. Just keep an eye on them so they don't get too long and you got to be careful doing it. It can be really tough to do because they can go into the ball and they don't really like you touching their paws and everything of course but you can also lots of the time take them to pet stores or groomers and they can do it for you but just double check that before you do it because I'm not sure if it's everywhere you're allowed to do that but I know in quite a few places they are able to do that for you. Alright so that is basically all the information that you need to know. Again always make sure that you continue to research it, watch other videos, look up care sheets and talk to people in pet stores before you purchase one because they are a big commitment. Now we're just going to head upstairs, take a quick look at Scooter's cage just to show you an example of what one can look like. So this is what Scooter's cage looks like. You can see we have the Carefresh over there, the blankets there, his food and water dish. This is the wheel that I'm talking about, the nice big one, and it's all solid. And the cage is quite large. He's also got a nice hide over there, a hide there as well, and a whole bunch of toys all over there, as well as his heat. Thanks for watching, please like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Talk to you guys in the next video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'd be happy to help you out. And yeah, have a great day. Bye. I'm just gonna like get the treat. Hello. Oops, and you're gonna, ow! Ow, <laughs> 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 that was one of his fangs. Did you bite him? Uh, no, he bit me. <laughs> <laughs> Did it hurt? It doesn't. Did it hurt? Did it hurt? Did it hurt? Did it hurt?